Yo, it actually blows with the wind. It's gonna improve aerodynamically. Pretty good with the fitment right here. Front, I was skeptical about this, but it follows the line evenly. Let's peel that off. Imagine it be a hole or crack right here. Yo, that'd be crazy. And this side is the same. Pretty even, so. Yo, I don't know why it took us so long to do this. Thank you. 
What's your impression on the C300? Silver. Yeah, it's silver. It's great, bro. Before we get out of this car, just take a look at this interior, man. Come on, man. BMW, what were you doing back then when Benz was doing this? What were you doing, man? Look at this. Look at this. F30, nothing. Look at this. Caneva. F30 could never. It's solid too, yo. The way Benz was killing it was crazy, man. I mean, the five and the seven, yeah, look a little better, but the three series compared to this, mm. Mm. Only thing that really looks cheap in here is the steering wheel. It kind of looks a little, you know, like, you know, better material, I guess, because you hold it all the time, but everything else is freaking nice. But on to the front lip. Back, everything has been taken care of. We got the maintenance, we got the brakes, and we got the front lip has been changed as well. Give you a walk around, take get a perspective of how nice this car actually looks. So right here is the finished product, guys. You can see it got a little scarring from before the front lip, but this right here, Front lip is on. It's pretty clean. You got little bugs on it already, but clean, clean, clean. This damage came with it. Uh, one of the things that was a little bit difficult was lining this lip up. I don't know, this car tends to do things a lot more precise when it comes to certain things, like a little more properly. So I wanted this lip to go on perfectly because if you take a look, this has to line up with it. Like it's like a little, little indent right here has to line up right here as well. So you can't be off first first uh, carbon fiber part that I've ever put like on the car or whatever. Happy to say I know why people do it. It looks really nice, uh, really tasteful, and the gray from the car actually makes the carbon fiber stand out. I didn't think that it would as much. I kind of thought it'd blend in, but no, it helps out. It, it does a lot. It looks nice. So far, this car has gotten tires, um, brakes, oil change, all the maintenance. We uh, changed the driver's side headlight. We put the diamond grill in there and we did the carbon fiber front lip. And I don't know, the more I do this car, it, it comes out nice and subtle. And we're not affecting the reliability of this car at all, actually. We got a couple issues that I will address in other videos, reliability wise, but nothing to shut the car down, stop the car at all. It's just a nice looking car and subtle touches. I don't know, subtle touches really make it look nice. There's a certain angles like just ch check this angle out right here. This angle is just insane with the front lip. Then you get a little snip of the diamond grill, fresh tires on here. Everything just adds in. Look at that. Jeez. We got to do something with this. This right here is going to come off. I just got to figure something out about getting the um, caps to fill in the bumper. But it does, still doesn't look too bad. But the diamond grill with the front lip is all that we've done. Like I said, we got a little damage right here. You know, also, I mean, we could check to see how much a new bumper costs. Uh, maybe we might just go ahead, get a new bumper, have it painted and fit it back on. But don't think that gonna be the route. Probably just get that touched up and then tell them to maybe bondo and repaint the holes. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, the fender, like I said, still little damage buckle from the uh, incident. But yo, other than that, the car is pretty clean. Like I said, it doesn't affect uh, the drivability of the car. The car is not lowered at all. I know it would look just that much better lowered, but there's no point in having multiple lowered cars because what will you drive, you know? This front lip has lasted pretty well. I thought I was gonna scrape on it on a couple things, but I actually haven't uh, managed to scrape um, because the fact that it's not lowered. Like I said, lowered would look cool, I know that, but I always say I don't wanna do too much to a car to change the look, I'm more of a power guy, but it's nice subtle things look really, really nice, it, it does, you know? take a look like it's like a it's like a really stock clean look i know i hate to say it but the f30 chassis is kind of growing a little old to me man it really really is i don't know but stay tuned because i have some ideas i can't figure out what new car i want to get uh i don't i don't think i'm gonna replace the 435 just because that car that car is very different in its own and I'll tell you guys, I'll give you guys a little snippet now. I know a lot of you guys are not going to watch this video because it's a Ben's video. So I'll give you guys a little snippet for those of you who do catch this in the last clip. 
the, the, the M4, I like it, but I most likely won't get it. Um, just because one, it is a very, very, very familiar uh, look to me. Uh, you see them a lot around this area. They're like freaking Skittles, like uh, just a color, just all different colors, same shit. To keep it all the way real with you, like everybody, everybody is so confused about building cars. Like a downpipe and a tune is not really a build. That's pretty much what everybody does. They get the M's, they do a downpipe tune. You know, you can make like close to like what, 600 wheel on those things. I want something that can handle the power a little bit better than the 435 when I throw power at it. But I, I don't know, man. I, I really don't want the M4. It's just to make it unique and special requires a lot, a lot of R&D. I mean, they have single turbo kits out. I really don't want to go down that route. Like I said, you just did this like a, a dime a dozen, man. You see so many of them. Great car, but you know, I don't know. I'm in the market. I'm gonna look for something else. I want to push the envelope a little bit. I don't know, guys. Maybe I might jump and get that Porsche. I really want to get that Porsche, man. I just want to dive in it, get it, but gotta be responsible. So that being said, Mike from Speed, let me get up out of here, man.